So have a read of this question and have a go at it, and then I'm going to go through it. So in this question, you've got this stuff called nor guess salt peter, which is this stuff here, and it's saying it gets decomposed completely. It then goes on and says that some gases are produced, and it gives you a volume in meters cubed, it gives you a pressure in kilopascals, and it gives you a temperature in Celsius, and it gives you the ideal gas equation. Question A asks you for, in moles, the total amount in moles of gases produced. So step one, write down the ideal gas equation. So we've got PV equals NRT. So now we want moles, so we have to rearrange for N. So for, to rearrange for N, I wanted N on its own, so I had to get rid of the R and the T. So if I divide both sides by the R and the T, I end up with this equation here. Right, next I should do any conversions that need converting. So for example, the volume in meters cubed doesn't need converting. But the pressure in kilopascals needs converting. So to convert that to pascals, which is what I need for this equation, I have to times by 1,000. So I should have that times 1,000 equals 100,000 pascals. So I've just times that by 1,000. I also need to convert the um, temperature to Kelvin, so I plus 273. So plus two seven three to convert to Kelvin. So that gives me three oh four Kelvin. That's three one plus two seven three gives me three oh four Kelvin. Next put the numbers into the equation. Put these numbers into the equation so I've got the pressure here. See the pressure's there? Hundred thousand pascals. Got V, which is the um, in meters cubed, that's just straight from that. That's the V. I've got uh, R, which is down here, 8.31, and I've got the temperature, 304. Okay, when you're doing putting this into a calculator, remember to put brackets, because otherwise, if you put that straight into the calculator without brackets, you'll get the wrong answer. It will divide before it. You have to times the whole bottom line before you divide. So that should come out as 0 0.139 moles. What actually comes out in the calculator is 0 0.1385, but we round up three significant figures, so 0 0.139. The next part of the question says, hence, calculate the amount in moles of oxygen produced. So this is the amount in moles of gases produced. How many gases have we got? Well, we've got the uh, nitrogen dioxide and the oxygen. So if we want to calculate in moles of oxygen, we need to look at the ratio between the total gases and the amount of oxygen. So you can see that for every five moles of gas produced, we have one mole of oxygen being produced. So if that is the total amount produced of gases, the amount of oxygen is one-fifth of that. So we just need to divide that number by five. So I'll just reiterate that um, if you add up the total number of gases, so you have four of the nitrogen dioxide plus one of that, so it's a total of five gases in total. So we have five gases in total compared to one um, mole of gas of oxygen being produced. So five moles of gas in total compared to one oxygen. So, so we've got 0 0.139 moles of gas in total being produced. So we just need to divide that by five. So that number divided by 5 equals 0 0.0278 moles of oxygen being produced. So in a recent homework that my students did, um, they were having problems with this question now, and I'm going to explain this question now. So if you can do the first two questions and have a go at this one. The first two are relatively easy, and we'll put the answers up in a second. The best way to sort of get into this question is to... Um, write down the information you're given. So we're given one gram for sodium hydride and we're given a, a volume of 250 cm cubed, which uh, you should always do conversions because we never want it in cm cubed. We either want it in dm cubed or meters cubed. The next step is figuring out how can I work out the moles. It's always the moles. So I haven't actually got enough information, information to work out the moles here, but I have got enough information to work out the moles of this. So let's do that. So. We've got the mass, 
and we can always work out the MR, so therefore we've got the mass in the MR so we can work out the moles for the sodium hydride. The MR of sodium hydride, where well, we've got one, so one sodium, which is, has an AR of 23.0, and one hydrogen, which has AR of 1, so that comes up to 24. So we throw that into our equation over here. One gram of sodium hydride divided by the MR24, so it's 1 over 24. Or as a decimal, 0.04166. Okay, the reason we did this, the reason we want to work out moles, is because once we have the moles of one thing, we can use molar ratios to work out the moles of anything else in the equation. We've got 0.04166 moles of sodium hydride, okay, and that's reacting with some water, okay, and it's forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So what's the ratio between sodium hydride and sodium hydroxide? Well, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. What that means is, if 0 0.04166 of this reacts, we get 0 0.04166 of the sodium hydroxide. So we now have the moles of the sodium hydroxide. We've also got the volume of the sodium hydroxide, we read that down earlier. You should remember the equation, that concentration equals moles divided by volume. We've got 0 0.04166, that's the moles of the sodium hydroxide, dividing by the uh, volume, which is 0 0.25, and that comes out as 0 0.166, and that, the units for that is constant. So it's 0 0.166 moles per dm cubed. So the next question is just asking for the volume of hydrogen gas evolved. So they give you the temperature, they give you the pressure, we've already got the moles, so it's a simple case of just Converting that to Pascal's using the moles along with um, R equals 8.31. I think they must have given you that somewhere in the question they always do. So there you go. R equals 8.31. PV equals NRT. So rearrange that for V. So that becomes V equals NRT over P. Just do any conversions. So that means that we can change to by times it by 1,000 to Pascal's. So 100,000. So here we go, so we've got um, the moles, which is what you worked out earlier when you worked out um, the moles of the sodium hydride, uh, because you can see that there's a ratio of 1 to 1 for both of these, so whatever moles you worked out for this, it's the same as the moles for this, because it's a 1 to 1 ratio, so that was uh, 0.0416 times the gas constant, 8.31, times the temperature, 293, divided by the pressure, which is 100,000. And that comes out as 1.01 .01 times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed. Okay, so this next question, calculate the volume of acid which would react with exactly with 25 cm cubed sample of the sodium hydroxide solution. So if you see that capital M, that means um, molarity. So this is 0 0.112 moles per dm cubed of hydrochloric acid. Okay, if you notice they're, taking, they're asking for a sample, the original thing was 250 cm cubed. So originally, we had 0 0.04166 moles of um, the sodium hydroxide. Okay, 0 0.04166. Now, that was in 250. So how much moles are we going to have in 25? Well... 25 cm cubed is 10 times less than 250. So therefore, we're going to have 10 times less of the moles. So in the sample, we have 0 0.04, sorry, 0 0.00416. That volume equals moles over concentration, so just throw in the number. 0 0.004166 divided by 0 0.112, and that comes out as... 0 0.0, I need some more space, 372, that is volume in dm cubed.